from experimental design aircraft to unique and weird boats, these are the 15 strangest airplanes and ships in the world. Number 15, the White Knight 2, Scaled Composites. The White Knight 2 is a cargo aircraft that is designed to carry the Spaceship 2 spacecraft. In essence, the WK-2 is a mothership. Let's back up a little so we can understand what's going on here. So the Virgin Galactic Company owns the aptly called Spaceship Company, which is in the business of space tourism. The WK-2 will carry the spacecraft to a Fedora release altitude, and all the people on board the spacecraft will get to enjoy the final frontier. Well, the suborbital final frontier anyways. As of right now, they are still in the testing phase of this massive project. I know it sounds crazy, but we're living in the future, folks. Get with the times. And before we move on, I would like to introduce you to the White Knight's competition, Chad, the straddle launch carrier that gets all the praise. Number 14, RP Flip. Gunderson Brothers Engineering. In the 60s, some guys from the Navy were like, hey, we want to research the fine scale phase and amplitude fluctuations in undersea sound waves caused by thermal gradients and sloping oceans. What? I, I, I guess it had something to do with hunting enemy submarines. And by hunting, I mean hitting them with a 5 kiloton nuclear warhead called the UMM-44 Sub Rock for submarine rocket. At first, they used submarines for the research, but they weren't steady or crazy looking enough. So the RP Flip was developed. I think the RP stands for Research Platform and Flip stands for Floating Instrument Platform. It's pretty much a massive buoy, and for those not familiar with it, it just looks like a capsized ship ready to sink into the deep, dark ocean below. Also, this boat can't really go anywhere by itself, so it has to get dragged around like a little kid. Number 13. Airlander 10 Hybrid Air Vehicles This is definitely the thickest plane on our list, but is it the largest? The builders state that the Airlander 10 is the largest aircraft that is gracing our beautiful skies. Let's see if it holds up and it's not just some classification trickery. It looks like it is 26 feet longer than the Antonov AN-225, so my guess would be yeah, it's definitely the largest plane on Earth. And by the way, do you know how damn big the Hindenburg airship was? Just for comparison's sake, look at this chart. Damn! So what organization decided they needed this giant aircraft? Would you believe it? It was the US Army. Looks like the unit cost around 25 million British pounds. The US Army canceled the project after they saw the first test flight. I guess the generals couldn't handle the curves. I'm a little confused here. The Army requested this airship for the purpose of long-endurance multi-intelligence gathering. What kind of intelligence are you going to gather when you're the biggest thing in the sky? Well, here's some of the reasoning behind it. Quite the sales pitch if you ask me. Number 12. The Novgorod Imperial Russian Navy Widely regarded as one of the worst warships ever built, the Novgorod has at least one thing going for it, its uniqueness. Considering it actually saw some action in the Russo-Turkish War, I wouldn't call it a complete failure. Apparently, the Novgorod was a mess to steer, even in perfect conditions, and if the ship was caught in a current, it would just start spinning around aimlessly. That doesn't sound like fun at all. After serving a stint as a coast defender, the Novgorod, nicknamed the Popovka, was scrapped in 1911. All we have left is miniature models and some really grainy photos. Number 11. The Vought V-173 Vought I wasn't even planning this segue, but here we are, from round ships to round planes. V-173, nicknamed the Flying Pancake, was one of the first strange all-wing airplane designs, and as bizarre as it looked, it did provide high maneuverability. Unfortunately, it was just one more of those weird designs that people learned valuable information from, but was never used in any official capacity. At least the model is still up on display. Number 10. The Hughes Glomer Explorer, Sun Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company 
Welcome to the Cold War, where innovation and espionage were divided by a very little blurred line. The Hughes Glower Explorer was built under the orders of the CIA as a deep sea drill ship for their operation codenamed Azorian. When the Russians lost their K-129 submarine in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, US intelligence really wanted to get their hands on the remains. $1.7 billion later and we have the GSF Explorer. The Glomer successfully grabbed onto the submarine, but a catastrophic failure in the grapple mechanisms caused the submarine to split in two, with most valuable information falling back to the sea floor. For more information on this case, check out my craziest declassified military projects video. There will be a link to it at the end of this one. Number 9. NASA AD-1 Ames Industrial Company The AD-1 is another experimental aircraft from the Cold War era. This time, NASA was interested in seeing how far aircraft wings could be pivoted. As it turns out, this plane could pivot its wings up to 60 degrees and still be able to fly. The plane was built and tested between 1979 and 1982, but the first designs for such aircraft came from Germany in 1944. The test was a success, the so-called oblique wing aircraft flew, never crashed, and the NASA scientists got some valuable information. You can still see the plane on display at the Hiller Aviation Museum in San Carlos, California. Number 8. The Floating Prison Avondale Industries the Vernon C. Bain Correctional Center is unique in many aspects, one being that it's a freaking barge. Most barges are not self-propelled, and this one is no different. Prison ships are nothing new, but you would assume that they were old news by now, right? Wrong. Nicknamed the boat, this ship can hold up to 800 inmates for the low price of $161 million. It is designed for medium to maximum security prisoners, but it also housed a bunch of juveniles in the late 90s. So, do you think it would be easier or harder to escape a floating prison? In 2002, an inmate escaped the prison by climbing the 30-foot wreck area fence. The guards on duty could not go after him since their shoes were too big. So, did they shoot him? No. Did they tase him? No. Did they throw basketballs at him in the hopes of stopping him? Yes. He was picked up by a police boat shortly after his successful escape. Number 7. V-22 Osprey Boeing the V-22 Osprey might be the most expensive piece of machinery on this list. It's estimated that the total research and development cost up to $56 billion, with cost per unit at about $100 million. But it does look pretty cool, so there's that, I guess. The Osprey has tilting rotors that allow it to take off vertically, like a helicopter, then transform into a horizontal fixed-wing mode that's much faster. The plane is shrouded in controversy. Between 1991 and 2000, 30 fatalities were caused in four separate crashes, and since 2007, there have been five more crashes and nine more fatalities. It looks like the V-22 made the news again over the weekend. It crashed off the coast of Queensland, Australia, most likely trying to land on an aircraft carrier. 23 of the 26 Marines on board made it out. They searched for the other three, but right now it's considered a recovery mission. Number 6. The HSV-2 NCAT Next up, we have the HSV-2, and please, for the love of God, don't Google that without putting ship at the end. This beauty has been passed around from government to government. Originally built as a proof of concept by the Australian firm NCAT, the SWIFT was first used by the US Navy. At first, the ship was going to be a minesweeper, but it was only officially used for humanitarian operations and fleet support. After the US Navy stint, the ship was sold to the United Arab Emirates National Marine Dredging Company. In 2016, the ship was seriously damaged and attacked by rebels off the coast of Yemen. The rebels claimed the ship sank, but the US Department of Defense said that it didn't. I'm going to go with the DoD information on this one. Number 5. Proteus 281 Scaled Composites 
Hey, would you look at that? Another scaled composites design on this list. These guys sure know how to make weird looking planes. The 281 Proteus is a high altitude, long endurance aircraft. It is capable of orbiting a point 63,000 feet in the air for 18 hours at a time. The plane has been a massive success. It has even been used by multiple US agencies. So next time you're doing something shady in your backyard, just remember, the NSA could have one of these bad boys hovering miles above you. Number 4. Planet Solar Knierem Yakbao Well, the name of this definitely gives it away, but here we go. The Planet Solar is the largest solar-powered boat in the world and is the first solar-powered vehicle to circumnavigate it. The top of the boat is covered in 57 square feet of solar panels rated at 93 kilowatts. There's about 8 tons of lithium-ion batteries inside the ship. And in other words, if this ship was a vape pen, I'm pretty sure everyone in the world would know about it. The builders believe that after testing was finished, the boat would be purchased by a wealthy billionaire to be used as a luxury yacht. Elon Musk ignored my email on the subject, so I'm guessing it wasn't meant for him. Right now, the planet Solar is being used as a floating marine research lab by the Geneva University. Number 3. HL-10 Northrop So, the guys over at NASA wanted to see if you can fly planes that have no wings. To everyone's surprise, the HL-10 did just that. In this amazing picture, we see the wingless aircraft and its pilot after a flight, while a Boeing NB-52B mothership flies above. A spectacular sight, if you ask me. My understanding of this whole project goes like this. The HL-10 was supposed to be a space re-entry craft that could use an engine to prolong the gliding phase and then land safely at lower speeds. There were 37 test flights. The highest speed reached was 1227 miles per hour. The project was shut down before any space re-entry tests could be done and the HL-10 can be seen on display at Edwards Air Force Base. Number 2. Johans Ark Johan Hoopers. This is a full-scale model of the famous biblical Noah's Ark. It took Johan four years and eight helpers to complete the seven-story, 450-foot-long survival ship. A rough estimate on the amount of trees that were cut down to make it is about 12,000. And a few years before, Johan built a half-scale ark just by himself. Even though there's other full-scale replicas of Noah's Ark, this is the only one that actually floats. It was open to the public in 2012, just not filled with animals yet. Number 1. The Concorde BAC and SUD Aviation Ever since I found out that a prototype version of the Concorde was used to chase the 1973 Total Solar Eclipse, I've wanted to share that information with all of you. And the upcoming Total Solar Eclipse in the US was the perfect opportunity. I believe this picture is real and not manipulated. There isn't any easily researchable information on it since I believe the scientists were focused more on the Total Eclipse and not the plane that reaches speeds of 1300 miles per hour. Are you excited about the upcoming Total Solar Eclipse across the USA? I wonder if there will be any flying viewing parties. It looks like there is one, but sadly, it's invite only. Unfortunately, the Concorde was a failed experiment altogether. The 20 aircraft built were in operation for 27 years, which is a major accomplishment. But on July 25th, 2000, the first and only fatal Concorde accident happened. 100 passengers, 9 crew members, and 4 people on the ground lost their lives. Needless to say, this had a very negative impact on the success of the plane. By 2003, all Concorde flights were cancelled, and the planes were retired. They can be found in museums all over the world, so not all is lost. Check out the featured comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.